Thanks for sticking with us here on Midwest Access. We have an artist in the house today. We are so lucky to have Mary Ashford here with us. Thank and you. she is painting a rooster. A rooster. Yeah. One of my favorite subjects. Love it. Do you yeah. like farm animal scenes? Well, you know, I, I just like chickens oh, okay. in particular. So. And they're very unique, too, I'm sure, from an artist's perspective. They're colorful. No one's the same. <laughs> no, they're colorful. There's many different patterns. Yeah. They're just really fun to, to paint. Okay, so maybe we have some people at home who are hesitant to maybe pick up that paintbrush and start painting. Do you have any mm -hmm. advice for newcomers to the art world? I think just be brave and do it, you know. And if you um, just get the materials and start painting on your own or paint with friends, maybe take a class. Sure. YouTube, you can find a lot of different instructional things uh, yeah. for painting. How did you get started? You know, I've always drawn, um, as a young child, I remember drawing and trying to copy cartoons from the newspaper that kind of thing. And um, art has just been a passion of mine through throughout every, you know, as far back as I can remember. Yeah, so, and you yeah. worked with Mayo Clinic, or do you still? I did. Okay, no, you I did. Worked, I worked for Mayo Clinic for 31 years okay. as a graphic designer. Wow, yeah. okay. Did you work across the board or any specific department? Well, I was in the graphics department. I worked with all the, all the, um, uh, different disciplines like the photographers and the sure. um, videographers and um, it was just a wonderful job. Okay. Yeah. But I, mo I work mostly on print materials. Okay. Right. So today we're not talking about print. We're talking about no. freehand art here with the paintbrush. So what kind of paint do you have it here? It is. This acrylic? is acrylic. I don't have uh, the patience for oil. Sure. I like to paint fast and it has to dry fast. Sure. So. Right. Okay. So where are you at right now here on the rooster? It looks like you have the background <sighs> painted. Yeah. I have a technique where, as you can see, it's not very colorful. It's all black and white. I sketched out the rooster, and then I kind of did an over-painting of it in black. Okay. I like the background black because that gives the background a mottled look after I add color to it. Okay. The areas that are white will make the uh, color pop out even more. Sure. So. Do you put, like, a white wash on before you put the black on? No. You don't? No. The, um, the canvas is already prepared. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and these is you can get these at Hobby Lobby, your local craft store. Yeah, Michaels. Anywhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's your next step? Well, I'll start adding color to it. Okay, we'll which will make that. it a bit interesting. Yeah, yeah, we're excited for that. If you yeah. want to go ahead and give us any tips you have when you start adding the color. Well, um, the thing here is you start with the darkest tone, and um, then you start building it up brighter. Okay. So. In this case, I, I'm working for, from a photograph of a rooster. Sure. Can I show them? That? Sure, absolutely. Yeah. So this is what we're working from, if I can. Right. Here it is. Right. And um, what I'll do is I'll mix up some darker. So you're thinking, so you know. that's start dark. Right. You start dark and then go to the light. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it won't look um, at all like the original photograph there until a couple layers. Okay. And things might change. I don't um, necessarily make it look exactly like the the uh, photograph. I like to have a little sure. uh, artistic freedom doing you know doing what I want. Uh huh. So, and then we've got some of that down here too. Okay. Well, Mary, we're going to take another commercial break. Sure. Sure. And. We're going to watch a little bit of you doing this because this is pretty awesome. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you for asking me. We are going to check in with Mary in just a bit, but we do have to take another commercial break.